you've said before that you didn't win the NWA world's title because, you know, as you mentioned, you're kind of back and forth with Watts. Yeah. Uh, do you believe, though, that if you hadn't left here, that you would have inevitably been the NWA world heavyweight champion? Um, it's hard to say. Um, um, I mean, I know it's kind of like, um, you know, that's a bit of a political thing too. I know that, uh, the funks, you know, were, uh, you know, as promoters, I mean, I, you know, I guess there's a, a gathering of all those promoters at some point and, 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 and a vote, I guess. And it's kind of like, and what's funny is like, well, I remember when Terry said, told me, he said, you know, uh, you know, and, and again, back to Harley, you know, he, says, I have, if, he told me, he says, if I have anything to do with it, you know, eventually one day this will be around your waist. And, you know, Harley was a partner with uh, Bob Geigel and uh, I can't remember the other guy, but in, in Kansas City, Pat O'Connor, uh, they were partners. They, they, the, the Kansas City territory was, was those guys. They had a boat. Uh, the Funks had a boat. Um, you know, Eddie Graham down in Florida had a boat. You know, who, whoever was a promoter, the promoters all got together. And, you know, based on their boat, you know, somebody, you know, so I, if I had stayed, I guess, you know, in the NWA, you know, territories. And I just, I didn't, I kept going back to Bill Watts because it was good because it was good, good money. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's kind of, you know, like you, uh, you get word about some territories and some of the NWA territories, you know, and if you're the world champion, you go in there and yeah, you're going to make good money because, you know, anytime the world champ, the world champion didn't show up, but maybe a couple times a year. Yeah. You know, because he keeps working the circuit. You know, it is all of the NWA territories. That brings up an interesting point, Ted. You know, you had mentioned earlier as we were talking that Georgia was really nice because you got to be home every night. Yeah. Uh, now, it's it, kind of a weird question because of the money that's on the line. However, it's like, you know, you've got this kind of a, a, a good position where you get to go and be with your wife every single night. The travel isn't too bad. If you had been named the NWA champion, you would have been traveling all over the United States to all the different territories. I mean, it would, would that have been something that you would have wanted at the time? Well, I mean, it would be worth it in that, in terms of, um, stature in the business, mm -hmm. uh, then, then you're, you're, then you're going to become a name. That's not just, uh, somewhat regionally known, but you're going to be known everywhere. Yes. And you would, you know, I think anybody I mean, me, with half a brain would say, yeah, that's, you got to do it. I mean, if that's your, if that, you know, are you going to, are you going to turn down, not to mention the money? Yeah. And the, 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 the money, the money. So, oh my gosh, you know, you're the world champion. Uh, that money can set you up. You'd have to leave the comfort of home and go take that. Yeah. that spot yeah. if they offer it to you. Um, yeah. A last thing about this title, because it's, you know, it's uh, guys like Hulk Hogan and Jake and all of these guys consider it kind of the title. You know, even to this day, it's like this was the pinnacle of professional wrestling as being the NWA champion. Um, do you consider not being the NWA champion kind of like a blank spot in your career? Something like a like a, a regret that you never wound up getting it? Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, like for for all the talk and and, and all that. um all the encouragement and, and, and just, uh, you know, what, what has been written and, 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 and just what I know. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, it's the one I missed. So, and I didn't miss it by much, but you know, you know, if you, you know, what's it close is only close is only good in horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> <laughs> I know I would have liked to have seen you with the belt and uh, you know, it's just, yeah, I think it is one of those kind of what ifs uh, type type scenario 